In this video, I want to go through three sketches. So first one, y equals the natural log of x take away 20. So first of all, identify where the vertical asymptote is. That's when the bracket is 0. So that would be when x is equal to 20. Then you're going to have your traditional log curve. And where it crosses the x-axis is when y is 0. y is 0 when this bracket is equal to 1. And so that will be when x is equal to 21. OK, now you can either look at looking when the bracket is equal to 1, that's when y is 0, or you can put y is equal to 0, and then remember that is log base e, so going from logarithmic to exponential form, this will be e to the 0 is equal to x take away 20, e to the 0 is 1, and then add 20 to both sides, and so you're going to get x is equal to 21. Either way is fine. Okay, so that's the first one. So the second one, um, y equals the natural log of x plus 13. So where is the vertical asymptote? That's when the bracket is 0, so x equals minus 13. Okay. Then we're going to have our log curve. Two points of interest. So where it crosses the y-axis is when x is 0. So we're going to get y equals the natural log of 13. So that's the natural log of 13. And where it crosses the x-axis is when y is 0. That is when this bracket is equal to 1. And so that would be at minus 12. Minus 12 plus 13 is 1. OK, so that is number 2. OK, and then number 3, y equals the natural log of x plus 100. So vertical asymptote is when x is going to be minus 100. x equals minus 100. Then we're going to have our log curve. It crosses the y-axis when x is 0, so natural log of 100. And it crosses the x-axis when y is 0, so x plus 100 will have to be equal to 1, and so x will have to be minus 99. And so that is the sketch for number 3.